Ladies and ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to talk about Warlords of Draenor. Yeah, yeah, okay, specifically we're going to talk about Warlords of Draenor Time Walking, which is coming to the game in patch 8.1.5. And it comes with six dungeons, obviously all from uh, Warlords of Draenor. Unfortunately, not Grimrel Depot, which is a bit upsetting because that was one of my favourite dungeons of Warlords of Draenor. Now, I know a lot of people do hate Warlords of Draenor and they think it's the worst expansion ever, but the dungeons of Warlords of Draenor really weren't that bad at all. And uh, yeah, I think Warlords of Draenor Time Walking will be a good addition to the Time Walking system. Now... This video is about the rewards from this time walking and what comes with Wall of Zadranal time walking is two mount rewards and you have a Iron Horde Elec and a Iron Horde Wolf. So in this mount preview we are going to begin with the Iron Horde Elec. Yeah that is actually a placeholder name we don't actually know the official name for these mounts. But yeah let's start off with the Iron Horde Elec. So, this mount is kind of interesting. The skin is not new, the saddle is not new, but the combination of the two together is new. Now, the skin of this mount is an unarmored version of the Armored Iron Tusk, which is the uh, exalted mount for the Shatari. It's a really awesome looking mount. And the saddle is one of the many, many saddles which we used on the uh, the many Elec mounts of uh, Warlords of Draenor. Uh, it's a cool looking mount. It's nice to see that they are actually making something at least a little bit new. Uh, obviously, with a lot of these time walking mounts, they end up being just like reskins of previous mounts. And yeah, I guess in, in a sense, this is a reskin. Now, I'm not sure if there is some particle effects missing from the tusks. As you can see, they're quite fiery and... Um, on the Armored Iron Tusk, there is a lot of fire coming off them, so there might be some particle effects missing from this mount, and I apologize for that. Uh, but yeah, overall, just an Elec mount, really. Um, nice to see it, I guess. And at the very least, it's probably the best unarmored Elec mount that we've ever had. So next up, let's take a look at this fantastic-looking wolf mount. Okay, so this is actually probably one of my favorite mounts in World of Warcraft. Yeah, that is a big statement. Now, this mount is kind of interesting. It was added to the game in Warlords of Draenor. Uh, it was never actually used as a player mount. I believe some NPCs do mount it. And in the end, I believe it ended up being a hunter pet. I believe hunters can actually tame this, interestingly enough. Uh, as you can see, it has a saddle. And yeah, for some reason, it was never used as a mount. And look at it. It looks freaking awesome. You've got those Iron Horde uh, Iron Stars, I think they're called, on the back end of it. You've got these massive metal kind of tusk looking things uh, just coming out of the front of it. You've got one on the jaw and one attached to the side of the head, which looks amazing. The fire coming off this mount is just badass as hell. Uh, it is a really cool looking mount, and I know we ended up with a lot of wolves by the end of Warlords of Draenor, but that was a couple years ago now, and I, I feel like I'm ready to embrace this wolf mount, and it's definitely a big step up from the Alec mount, honestly. I did actually do a video about it a long, long time ago, talking about how this is uh, one of the best unused mounts in World of Warcraft, and it is great to finally see it being used uh, in this capacity, and hopefully it's just for time walking badges and not some fruity little drop or something like that. I'm personally going to be saving mine because I really, really like the look of this mount. I think, yeah, I think it's honestly one of the best wolf mounts in the game. Uh, nothing new on the animation side there, just, just a standard wolf animations, as you'd imagine. Same with the Elec, I didn't show too many animations of that because it is exactly the same. There's nothing new, this thing doesn't breathe fire or anything, which would be kind of cool. But yeah, it's, it's just a wolf mount and I really like it. So let me know down below what you guys think of these two new mounts. Mounts. I know that the Elec is a basic reskin and the Wolf is pretty much a reskin, but it's 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 pretty unique uh, in all honesty with the armor and things like that. I'd love to know what you guys think. I personally really like the Wolf. I'm not the biggest fan of the Elec though. So before I go, I'd like to give a massive shout out to our amazing patrons, YouTube channel members and Twitch subs. You guys are awesome. If you'd like to support the channel in any of those ways, links are down below. 
So leave a like on this video, guys, if you liked it, and subscribe if you haven't. I've also got a partner Discord channel with over 3,000 members and a merch store over in Streamlabs. And I'm also now streaming on twitch.tv slash MrGM if you want to check me out on stream. Uh, yeah, we've been having a lot of fun on stream recently, so twitch.tv slash MrGM. It is the first link in the description. And with that, guys, I'll see you next time.